Hi boys and girls, I have a book here called, what are you called? Jenny Jellyfish, A Tale of Wiggly Jellies. Oh, how fun. This book is by Susan Tate. She is the author and illustrated by James Melvin. He is the person who put the pictures inside. Are you ready for the story? Oh, I can't wait to share this with you. Oh, well, first of all, how do you say jellyfish in sign language? I'll show you. Put your hand like this, and then get your hand, and you jiggle it. You wiggle and jiggle your hand, and then you change it to a Y. Jelly fish. See? Jelly. Oops. Jelly fish. You guys know that, right? You know how to do fish. Well, this I do the jelly part. Jelly. Jelly. Fish. Good job. And do you hear the ocean? Do you hear the ocean? The waves crashing? Oh, I like to do that one. I love ocean. I love pretend things like mermaids. And I like real things like jellyfish and seahorses and starfish. Oh, I love everything about it. Jenny Jellyfish was a moon jelly floating free in the sea like a tiny moon. She was a beauty. You could see pink and pretty colors on her clear bell-like body. Oh, what a beautiful little creature, huh? Jenny's friends were floating in the water around her. Each one was a moon jelly, an animal with no heart, brains, or bones. What? I didn't know that. Jenny Jellyfish had so many friends she couldn't even name them all. Johnny, Jerry, Jackie, and Jiggy... Jiggly Jelly were just a few of Jenny's friends. <laughs> the moon jellies drifted together and were often pulled by the water, but each jellyfish could also move itself by squeezing its body back and forth, back and forth. I think jellyfish, jellyfish are beautiful little creatures. Jenny and her friends were almost all water... Wait, Jenny and her... Je Oh, wait, Jenny and her friends were almost all water themselves. I don't, okay. Wiggly and jiggly animals. Jiggly Jelly was Jenny's best friend and the wiggliest one of all. He would wiggle and jiggle just like just to show off. Most of the jellies would laugh at Jiggly as they drifted and moved in the sea. But Jenny Jellyfish worried about him. Why can't you be still? she asked. Jiggly didn't listen and kept on wiggling. I wonder why she was worried about him. Huh. One day, Krabby was swimming in the sea. He saw Jiggly wiggling away. I'll swim up under that jellyfish, he thought to himself. It will be a good place to hide. But a big sea turtle had spied a meal in the wiggly jiggly jellyfish. Krabby saw the big creature just in time and scooted away. Oh, it looks like the turtle wants to eat the jellyfish. Look at that. The turtle turned and tried to catch Krabby instead of Jiggly. <gasps> but Krabby quickly hid in an old bucket lying on the bottom of the sea. He was surprised to find Nabby there. What's going on, she said. A big turtle would rather eat me than a jellyfish, he replied. Aren't you glad nobody wants to eat you? <laughs> I am. Meanwhile, Jenny scolded Jiggly as they floated in the sea. If you weren't so wiggly, the turtles wouldn't notice you, she told him. That's why she's worried about him, because the more he wiggled and jiggled, the more that he was noticed by other things like turtles. Jiggly didn't want to listen. He's like, I don't want to listen. But he watched as Jenny fired tiny sting stingers from her tentacles. She soon grabbed a little fish that was stunned by the poison in her stings. Jiggly thought, that's too much trouble. I just grab tiny eggs and animals from the water that flows over me. Right away, he began sl to slurp up plankton with his thick mouth tentacles. Wow. As Jenny and Jiggly and 
Their friends drifted and ate. More and more jellies joined them. There must be hundreds of jellyfish here now, Jenny said. We look like a floating raft of jelly. Soon, female jellyfish like Jenny began dropping eggs. Jiggly and the other males released a liquid that fertilized the eggs. Baby moon jellies began to hatch and hang onto the adult's tentacles. The jelly babies were as tiny as a pencil dot. Oh, look at those babies. You could barely see them. Wow. The tiny jelly soon dropped down to the bottom and grabbed hold of oysters and rocks. There they grew and became tube-like animals called polyps. The polyps then formed many buds that popped off and became, became new jellyfish. What? I had no idea that's how that's what happened. Wow. Later Jiggly was I hope I'm guessing it's true. <laughs> Later, Jiggly was looking for Jenny, but he couldn't find her anywhere. There were so many jellies in the water. So many jellies. A rainbow spot on some clouds was beginning to show in the sky. It was called a sun dog. Jiggly saw the sun dog and worried. That's a sign of bad weather, he thought. The wind will likely blow and blow. The wind did begin to howl, and strong waves bounced the raft of moon jellies. Those watery animals were helpless. Oh, the, the wind was so strong. Now they're in danger. The big waves washed them cl closer and closer to the sandy beach. Suddenly, the moon jellies were piled up on it, a bunch of watery blobs. It was Jenny, not hurt, but she was scared. She says, oh my, oh my, I'm scared. I want to go back to the ocean. Jiggly, who was nearby, couldn't even wiggle. For the wind was dry and the sun was hot. We need water, Jenny cried. Maybe helpful humans will find us, Jiggly said, hopefully. Soon, a family of humans came along looking for shells after the storm. They were surprised to see so many jellyfish piled up on the beach. Look at the family. They're looking at all the beautiful jellyfish, but they're supposed to be in the ocean, right? Let's be helpful humans, the woman said. We can try to keep the jellyfish wet until the tide brings high water to the beach. All oh, they're helping. They're doing teamwork. They're pouring water on the jellyfish because the sun is too hot for them, and that could hurt their skin. Here's my first bucket full, said the little girl. I'll help too, her brother said. These are moon jellies. They won't sting us like other jellyfish. I didn't know that either. More helpful humans came along and splashed water on the moon jellies too. At last, the tide came in and lifted up all the jellies from the beach. Look at those helpful people trying to help the jellyfish. Jellyfish need to be in water to live and be happy. Jiggly couldn't help wiggling for joy. This time Jenny didn't scold him. I feel wiggly too, Jenny sighed happily. Thanks to helpful humans, we can float free in the sea once more. The end. Oh, that was a cute story all about Jenny Jellyfish, A Tale of Wiggly Jellies. Huh, who knew? I wonder how much of that is true. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm glad you liked it. Do you remember how to say jellyfish? Jellyfish. Good job. I love you. Have a happy day. See you tomorrow, Tuesday.